Hello guys, today I'm test driving a BMW 540s 2017 uh, CPO, but this car has an M Sport package, basically everything except the Bowers and Wilkins. It's got the M Dynamic handling, uh, so you get the adaptive ride suspension. Um, that you put in sport, you put in comfort, you put in adaptive, it responds to the road. I heard a lot of hype about this engine and this car, so we're checking it out. It's got the active cruise control, lane keep assist, etc. Heated steering wheel, uh, heated seats, front and back, Harman Kardon, um, head up display, etc. Technology package. Let's see here. is really compliant I have to say it's comfortable it's kind of it's quiet but not as quiet as I would like to oh, everything is closed except the, the sunroof shade but the, there's strong wind outside but you can, you can hear the wind still so let's go ahead and put it in uh, there's eco pro as well I'm not a big fan anyway so we'll put it in sport you hear the seat you know bolsters down to pump up a little bit. gives you that jolt, you know, that you're actually uh, like a, mimicking a DCD, a double clutch transmission. But the pickup is pretty good. You can see the shifts fairly quick. Here you see the ceramic controls. It's, it's really, it's a nice car. It's a nice uh, place to be. obviously but it's quick um, if you want more more oomph so you gotta go with the M550 which I think that's that's what I would prefer um, this is not bad got a really nice pickup very impressive the engine sound is pretty good the transmission is smooth very smooth so as you see this is the 360 camera with the new 5 series making parking a breeze you can see the mirror dipped down there so you can see everything this is really amazing A comment on the sound system. And this is the Harman Kardon. It's good, but it's not that crazy good. But it's good. Not sure what music this is, but it's it's pretty it's pretty decent. It's just not the uh, it gets distorted when you make it loud. Uh, Bang and Olson doesn't get distorted. It just it stays crisp and clean. So we have the wireless charger here. Um, the update, oh, see, it's got, it keeps, you 
Let's try this. Oops, nope, don't go there. Let's see. The lane keep assist should be working, so I'm gonna let it do its thing. It vibrates, but it's not really keeping me in place. And it shows you on the dashboard here the speed limit on the street. And when you go above it, it becomes red. So it's very interesting. My M5 doesn't have this. The F10. I think it's a really helpful feature. So it's very, very, even in sport, it's comfortable. It's really in comfort mode here. Yeah. So it works really, really well. So yeah, this was a quick drive here with the 540. Uh, is it better than an F10 M5? Of course not. Uh, is it close to M550? No. But a 540 X Drive would be something interesting to try. As the X Drive, as you know, would be able to have a quicker pickup to start off the line. So I'll try to find one and check it out. But nonetheless, M550 I think is the way to go if you don't want an M5. Because now M550s are. Uh, 50 grand and somewhere around that figure which is very it's a, it's a good bargain for what you get uh, anyways uh, leave your comments hope this was helpful and catch you guys later at a different time